I suppose I should start putting some stuff together here. FTL makes certain it's updated, sync to the cloud. Hey, Steam! One of these days I'm going to want to do Ring Runner, but we've already got so many other story driven games right now that. I'm not too sure I want to pick up another one just yet. I want to kind of start finishing some stories instead of having 30 different open things going on. Um, and I guess Rebel Galaxy's been good for that, having some story to come back to that's continuous versus the roguelike elements of everything else. Looks like that's up. <laughs> so like FTL's got his music playing over the top, let's see. Uh drop that for a sec. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How's everyone doing? It's been a minute. And by a minute I mean like what, two days? <laughs> Good to see you all. I think today we're going to do some FTL. Um, I might might drop into some other games. Rebel Galaxy's been fun, so might do that later this evening. But, um, yeah. Been, been feeling like doing uh, something a little bit lighter than uh, Jupiter to Hell. Holy cow, that, that game gets intense. Alright. No thoughts, head empty. Thank you. Thank you for your valiant services. Uh, let's go ahead and close this other app. And games, games, games. Move this here, move this here. All right, we're back. Back with some FTL. Get that extra chill FTL music going. Okay. So we were struggling. As you can see, we still haven't made it to any of the other uh, <laughs> layouts just yet. Okay, still working on that Federation ending. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing Rebel fleet can catch up. Alright. Take a look at everything we got on here. The power to weapons and engines. Let's jump. Looks like we got a neat route going up and then down to the right. Oh, asteroid field. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside this asteroid field. It immediately moves into attack. Uh-oh. Weapons down. Okay, so that thing can shoot stuff down. That kind of sucks. 
Ooh. Here, let's get somebody going from engines into weapons because we need the the extra shots now. Oof. Really? Really? I wouldn't know what either of those are. I have no idea what either of those things are. Also, welcome first time chatter. Couldn't say. I don't have any opinion on something that I don't know anything about. What brings that to uh, this chat of all places? Alright, I get the feeling that we're going to have to kick somebody off the chat here. Yeah, no, we're, we are fully pausing everything so that I can go ahead and find the specific thing that I need to ban this person. Because I don't want to deal with this. Not today. Philosophy? Or you're, you're asking about opinions here, so uh, I don't think this is a philosophy question. Hey, Hunter. How you doing, Hunter? Uh, how was that? Hell yeah. Good stuff. <sighs> Been a long day. A lot of... A lot of trash. A lot of work. But I'm here now. Here to tell stories and read space stuff. You jump into an unremarkable system. No life signs detected within scanning range. This is wild because it's the second jump in a row that that's happened. I've been meaning to get into the John Wick series for a minute, but like, I don't want to watch a show where the premise is about some guy's dog getting hurt. Like, that doesn't sound like fun. Uh, more rebels. Rebels with the ability to power up their FTL and try to escape. So, I guess we're gonna use one of these. I think they're able to shoot down incoming lasers, which is frustrating. Okay. Oh. Uh, O2 is down. Field just went down. Must be on fire. 
So, aside from that, like, would you recommend the, the series? Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Reject. Time to fight. Again. We started off pretty rough here. Ah, of course. And we are now out of missiles. Having a grand old time. Yeah, my understanding is he's gone through, like, special ops training to do all of the, the different stunts throughout that. You've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure if anyone's on board, and the communications seem to be down. Prepare to board. The ship is completely abandoned. It looks like it ran out of fuel, and the crew ran out of food not long after. Despite the grisly scene that remains, you're able to scavenge some supplies from the cargo hold. Alright. Yeah, I've heard the fight scenes in John Wick are amazing. Um, have you watched any of the stuff from Corridor Digital? A pirate ship was lying in wait inside this asteroid field. Okay, no biggie. Dang it. Enemy ship appears to be powering the most FTL. Alright, so Corridor Digital is an FX company that does uh, VFX with, like, everything from, like, graphic overdraws, like, rotoscope style, to doing, like, outright, like, fully rendered scenes. They've worked with Weta Studios, who've done a bunch of like physical layer special effects kind of stuff, and uh, robotics. But they started out doing just goofy little homages to video games and whatnot, and um, media and movies and action and film. And one of the things that I got to see from them early on was John Wick with Nerf darts. Um, I might actually pull that up later. Uh, it's, a, it's a funny little short that they did as like maybe a five minute video, so. I don't know, something silly about that era. Let's see. Ooh, we got a store. The space station here has a traveling merchant who shows you his wares. Drone control, that would be nice also get a rock crew member. Ooh, they got guns too. Ion Blast is great. Charge time is only four seconds on that too. Required power is three though. Hmm. Required power one and three on those as well. Dang. We'll do drone, a system repair drone. Really don't even want that. Okay, we'll do ion blast. 
fix as much as we can of the hole and continue on our way. As soon as you arrive, you receive a Federation encrypted message. A rebel ship has been terrorizing the local civilians in the system. Please seek and destroy it. Well, let's go looking. You're able to quickly track down the rebel. Let's hope he's as e easy to defeat in combat as he was to find. Okay. Shielding on this isn't very big. Oh, they took out O2 already. They offer to give you some of their goods if you don't destroy their ship. No, they've been terrorizing people. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Alright. You've arrived at a long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. The area shows signs of battle from some time ago. There appear to be scattered remains of ships, but one station appears to be intact. Well, let's move in. You dock with the station and take a look inside. However, no sooner do you open the airlock than pirates burst in. Meanwhile, scanners pick up a previously undetected pirate ship moving into attack. Intruders detected. Ooh. <laughs> No missiles. Okay. Well, I guess for now we will aim for that. Uh, what a mess. Let's see. First laser is going to get its initial shot out. Okay, now you two head over here. Yeah. Turn off engines for a sec. I'm glad that all our weapons are on auto fire. Uh, uh, let's aim for. They're piloting. Grab everybody here. Mess. All right, you win. Here's some equipment from our stores. Leave us alone. I mean, you attacked me. This fuel would be nice, drone parts, and we will not accept surrender. Okay. That's better. The ship explodes, leaving behind basically the same stuff they offered, but I don't care.
Let's see. Next sector. Ooh, civilian sector. Don't see those very often. Welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing double. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Let's try going all the way up. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move into attack. Hmm. We'll try and knock out their shields. Oof. They knocked out my shields. All right. Pirate ship destroyed. Your ship system is restored to full functionality. You can't salvage what you can from the debris. We've got some good fuel off of that. You recognize the ship as a well-known slaver. He hails you and offers laborers for cheap attack. Ah, yes, they've used mind control on us again. Delightful. Let's see if this charge is fast enough to ionize other things. Okay, and we'll switch from Ion Blast to the Burst Laser. Try and knock out their weapon. Sensors down. Oh wow, that didn't go well. Dodge! Get in that pilot seat! The enemy ship appears to be powering its, F its FTL. It's trying to escape. Right, let's see if we can just knock out the uh, weapons one more time here. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyway. Fine. Give us the person. Zeromar. No special abilities. Get them on sensors. Then shields. There we go. You drive at the beacon to find yourself dangerous and close to a star. An automated rebel ship, impervious to the heat, moves in to engage. That's frustrating. It has no shields, though, so... Hmm...
And we've got fires. This is gonna suck. Okay. At least we put the thing out. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Unfortunately, the ship engines cannot charge until this is resolved. Get us out of here. Of course, sensor suites are down. We're just going to take out air to most of the center of the ship. There are a number of ships stationed around a rest stop. You immediately receive a message saying, if you're looking for some bodies to fill your ship, you've come to the right place. Hire a crew member, a human or an Engi. Well, let's hire the Engi. They're great at repairs. And they're under each snare, intangible. Bet you didn't think so, I command you to. I still hear the fires. Okay, it sounds like the fires are over. Close all the doors. Open all the doors back up. Send people in here. All right. Much better outfitted crew, at least. Uh, we need a rock crew member and... a Zoltan. And I think that'll actually fill out... Oh, all right. Enjoy your food. What you having? Sound, sounds tasty. We did pho for dinner. It appears the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a single life form. Well, let's go down. You find a man living alone in a cave. From the appearance of his wrecked ship, he seems to have been here for many years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is questionable. Bring him back to your ship in hope of finding some help for him. I was afraid of that. Being in space terrifies him. He goes mad and nearly blows a hole in the side of your ship with a makeshift explosive in an attempt to escape this metal prison. He dies in the explosion. Well... <laughs> Wait for that to repair and then we'll continue on our way. How was that? Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I want to go with more power yet. I'm going to hold off and hope that I can buy something useful or find some repairs for cheap. Uh, if I had missiles to sell, dang. There's a black market hub here. You receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have extra military-grade explosives, we will gladly pay you for them. Alright, we found a store. Hmm. Would sell the missile launcher. Potentially buy a better weapon. We'll hold off. You detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. Intervene to defend. The rebel responds to your threat. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. They move in to engage. 
Uh, looks like they got a drone. That sucks. Not enough power. Oh, I see. Okay, so that Ion Blaster will not work until it's done in conjunction with something else. Good to know. For now, let's knock out that Missile Launcher, because it's going to be a problem otherwise. Jeez, that thing loads fast. And O2 is down. Of course. Oh, no. Oh, that was a critical hit. Dang it. Okay. We're going to restart. That run started off really bad. Like, we got taken out pretty badly by one of those drones. You detect a Rebel Scout on an attack approach on a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are- it's- this is the same fight! <laughs> Teleporters? Already? Oh, snap. I forgot to uh, fire the, the weapons again. I am but a fool. Okay. Time to rush in here. Alright. The outpost hails you. Pompous bastards expected free service just because they defeated the Federation. Take this for help. That's helpful, then. Everybody sent over to O2. Good, good. Oh, it looks like that's actually going to happen on time. Cool. Well. Close all the doors. Continue onwards. Hmm. You find a mercenary to hire at this beacon. Their unique skills can prove to be sometimes useful. Hire them to delay. Which I never normally do. Let's try that this time. Fleet delayed by two jumps. The mercenary ship masks its jump signature to mimic your own, then jumps off in the opposite direction. This should keep the rebels guessing. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. Demand the surrender of their goods. You prepare to secure their cargo by force. I'm a space pirate now! They don't look like they want to fight. They're trying to escape. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. All right, see you folks in a sec. The ship was apparently transporting weaponry, however, nothing seems to survive the battle. Aww, I got unlucky on that roll. Mm. Get these doors repaired. And Oh, I didn't realize that you have somebody stand there, you can actually lock the doors manually. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. Attack! Give me your goodies! What's in the box? Alright, not bad. You salvage what you can from the ship. The station was apparently designed to outfit rebel ships with drone systems. You find a functioning schematic. Defense Drone Mark II. Hell yes. That's a good one. Okay. Both of them are doing good. That's funny that neither of them have, like, any real experience on either of their stations because they've been busy repairing stuff this whole time. You find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels. They hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. Let's see. No. Oh, that charge laser. This is a shotgun. All right, we'll top. The, we'll do the top round. Your sensors are picking up a distress call on an encrypted Federation channel. You eventually find a Federation scout being chased by a rebel fighter. Aid them. You power up weapons and engage the rebel ship. Damn right I do. Although they have a space shotgun, that's gonna hurt. These things deal so much absurd damage. Okay, at least I took out the space shotgun. Alright. With the ship destroyed, you quickly collect useful resources. Thanks, we didn't think there'd be rebel ships all the way out here. They seem to be searching for something. Take some extra supplies as thanks for your aid. Alright. Another store. And a nebula. The drone isn't looking for you. Perhaps it's scouting ahead for the rebel expansion. Or maybe they're seeking to use this nebula for cover. Regardless, it identifies you as hostile. Mm. This is going to sting. Yep. Okay. 
burst laser aim for over there. Or over there. It's even better. Now that thing can't shoot me. It doesn't matter if their ionizing hits me now. The ship explodes. Alright. I hear fire, though. Change. Kind of spaced it. Okay. So I saw, yeah, another store. That might be useful. Also, another distress beacon. Let's hit the store. A ship engineer has set up a small shop here. Um, hole missile, high hole damage, the decent breach. That could be mean. Another halberd beam, a flak weapon. Charge time 10 seconds, required power 2. Dealing up to three damage across a random area. Good for taking down shields, but hard to aim. I like this idea, though. Let's do that. What? Add some more power. Hey there, Nyan Gosling. Good to see you. There's a black market here. If you had missiles, you could sell them. People. I should medicate. I would have to take a break to do so, though, so I will wait. You arrive to find a number of ships convening around a station. There's some unencrypted chatter between the ships. You tune and listen for anything interesting. Overhearing their conversation, it seems they need to take possession of an enemy ship intact and offer our services. You briefly scan your ship and inform you you're not properly equipped for this type of mission. Damn. I wonder what I would need for that. Scans show a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. The ship hastily messages you, stay out of this or you'll be next. Concentrate fire on. You asked for it. They pull away from the planet and move in to engage. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, let's knock out those shields. All right. like those flat the way the flak weapons work i've never actually tried them before so this is interesting shield are temporarily disabled all right all right we give up we're terrible at this pirating thing anyway could let them go they would give us drone parts and some scrap piracy cannot be forgiven which is funny because i'm currently pirating things i focus on weapons also, focus over there. Wow, that flak weapon is brutal. You pick through the remains and contact the settlement. 
With the pirates gone, you signal the station. We appreciate what you've done, but there'll be just another ship looking to profit from our isolation soon enough. Sorry we can't give you more. The help is appreciated nonetheless. Alright, need to get another point into weapons control soon, and we'll be able to use double lasers. Or at least laser and flak, which will invalidate the need for any kind of shell weapons. I just realized that. We will never surrender one of our crew to the slavers. Yet, yeah, no, we are not doing that. Uh, yeah, knock out their, knock out their weapons. Flak versus Flak. Who's got the better weapons engineer? I want to say Booga. Yeah, Booga's nowhere close. But we did charge faster. Unfortunately. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's just do that again. Resist. I forgot they can do that. We surrender! Take one of our slaves as tribute! Alright, sure. Give me a rock person. They can hang out here. Booga, go heal. That wasn't what we needed, though, for the uh, additional scrap. Alright. You arrived at the Long Range Beacon. You see a civilian space station with heavy damage. Oh, wow. Could sell six drone parts. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. We'll buy some from you. You know what? Yeah. We also have the the really nice drone. Yeah. Okay. So. Bam. 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 <laughs> okay. Mantis or Engi? We need an Engi. Engi are always good on the crew. You've arrived in Engi space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. They are such cool people. Hell yeah, for more games with sentient robot people. Oh, I need to upgrade shield soon. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside this asteroid field. It immediately moves into attack. Looks like a charge laser. Jeez. And an ordinary burst laser. Who's... Okay. Black and yeah, take out that mind control thing because that's just been a problem this whole time. Okay, the ship explodes. We get some goodies. Now it's time to get out of here. Everybody to your stations. Let's go. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system, no doubt one of the many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it is trying to avoid notice. Hail them. The vessel is relieved to hear from you. They're running low on supplies. They suggest a trade. One fuel for four missiles. Absolutely. Alright. That'll make opening salvos even easier. Okay. While we're at it, get more power to everything because we need it. Okay. 
we're going to corkscrew here for a second. The ship refueling station is... Alright. The fuel is very cheap here. I don't need that much, though. Okay, we'll get some, because it is worth it. Not going to be able to make it to that store, though. Unfortunate. Sensors go wild as a nearby pulsar is detected. While you're attempting to recalibrate the FTL drive, pirate sneaks up on your ship, weapons charging. Prepare for a fight. Okay. Uh, yes. And... I didn't realize we had seven missiles. Ion pulse imminent. Oh, jeez! You've clearly bested us. We merely request our lives. We will not accept surrender. I mean, you attacked me, not the other way around. Okay, pilot system is down. Start putting this out then. Okay. The ship explodes. Goodies. All that stuff. Uh, send more people over here. Okay. As usual, what a mess. Alright. Got the FTL charging again. Well, maybe. These pulsars are a mess. And we are out of here. There must have been rich pickings to the pirates around here up until the war broke out. The pirate you encounter here looks worn down but hungry. You'll have to fight. They have teleporters. I hate when they have teleporters. If I'm gonna go up fast enough. They're gonna Yep. Okay. Uh-huh. Let's go get into a fight there, I guess. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. I don't think that's going to help them. <clears throat> what do you think? The ship explodes. Okay. Yeah, three. All right, we got space. We got space to do things in space. Actually, uh, pop, pop, pop. You arrive at a green planet with great plains and rolling waterfalls. It would be of little interest to the Engi nearby. Oh. Okay, that's the whole thing. I thought I was like, cool, what'd we find? As you arrive in the system, you're hailed by a loyalist settlement. Upon hearing of your quest, they offer you supplies. Well, that's nice of them. But more power. After a short time, you receive a message. Hello, I hope it's not a bother, but I'm looking for an escort to a nearby system. This region is quite dangerous and our ship is not well armed. Absolutely. Take this bit of fuel's down payment. Thank you very much. Where are we going? Oh, our quest is right there. Very nice. 
It's a trap! Oh, shortly after you arrive, the ship you were escorting jumps nearby. They thank you for your help and offer a reward. That was the sweetest thing! I... It never works out like that. Okay. Continue. You overhear Mantis comm chatter. Negative. I have killed more humans. You gulp noticeably, but luckily they don't see you yet. Die! We are equipped for this. Alright, we got a Mantis crew member that's just jumped onto the the ship here. Let's get this rock crew member into the fight. Oh, knocked out their weapons. Always good. Why are there engine controls all the way on the one side of the ship? That's strange. I only just noticed that. Alright. The ship explodes! We get goodies! Everybody feels better! Because we murder, we murder, we murder! So many space pirates dead. The rebel fighter here would seem to be would seem to suggest Elmas the rebel fleet are already making incursions on Engi space. You move to engage. Okay. The ship repeatedly hails you. It looks like they want to surrender. Uh, nah. Try again. Do it again, but uh, better. Rap. The ship explodes, leaving behind delicious, delicious gore. Does this qualify as being in the fight? No. A rather large fleet of civilian ships are held up at this beacon. It appears to be Rebel Checkpoint. Everyone's being inspected for possible ties to the Federation. No one has noticed you yet. Bribe the Rebels. As everyone currently awaiting inspection is human anyway, the Rebels let them go. They take your scrap and tell you to hurry along. Contact the civilian ships. The civilian ships are grateful, however, none of them seem eager to be mistaken as Federation loyalists, so they quickly jump away. Well, we've done the right thing. Zoltan controlled. I love the Zoltan. I hate fighting them, though. You've entered Zoltan territory. The species is not renowned for giving anything for nothing, but you can always be assured of a fair hearing. Okay. Oh. Okay, looks like that's going to be our route, because I don't want to do this short one. Another unmanned ship patrols this area. You prepare for combat. They have cloaking.
Well, that's extra frustrating. Every one of those missed. All right. Got some goods for that one. And now we can do... Well... There we go. Warship mode engaged. The Mantis Outcast sometimes make the mistake of taking the Zoltan for easy game. A scout moves into attack while a boarding party beams aboard from a nearby transport. Bloody hell. Oh. Yeah. Uh. I forgot to heal people. Hmm. Glad I hit them hard on that last shot, but they've already taken down a lot of my weapons. Now I'm not, we'll hit there. Hope everybody's healed in a second, because... Maybe... Okay. What a scary fight. Woo! More power. Uga, Jose, Bethago Winkles. Okay, Federation is now hot on her tail. You pick up the last broadcast from a rupturing Zoltan freighter. The Mantis, they're here. Please, you're interrupted by fire off the port bow. Let me guess, intruders in the next stage as well? <laughs> yep. Okay. This isn't the same class of warship as the last one, but it is still going to be a problem. How many? One. Uh, yeah, come f come fight in the, the med bay. We'll fight you in the med bay. Nice. The ship explodes. We get some more stuff. Very good. Uh, we're good on power for now. We're going to want to start adding more power to engines soon, but we should also hold off in case there are stores we run into. Two, three, four. Um, 
same number of jumps. We'll try here. Hmm. Not much remains in this abandoned system. However, scans reveal a nearby mining platform with salvageable materials. Very nice. Okay, now we will add power to engines. Because additional dodge chance is always good. A lot of fuel we've got. You arrive in an asteroid field and are greeted by a Zoltan guard. By attempting to access these closed mining fields, you are in violation of the Natural Mineral Protection Act. Your weaponry will be confiscated for processing. You don't have time for this. Warning. Intruders detected. Oh, they... Okay, I see. Well, that being said... <laughs> Jose, I'm glad you're terrible at combat. All right. The ship explodes. It's Scaplodes. How many? I think it's like 150 to get the next level shields, or that might be the top level. I don't remember. You arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They're saying... <laughs> they say they're researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and brutal... Prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has some time to undergo a few scans. Participate. As soon as you dock, pirates burst on board and a hostile ship appears on the radar. You hear the Zoltans yell in the distance, We're being held hostage! Intruders on board. <sighs> I should have upgraded the uh, doors. I need to do that soon. I guess I will do that soon. In the meantime, target everything. And, okay, battle in the weapons room. Whoa! Oh no! They just got bombed inside the, the medical bay. Well, we just lost a crew member. That sucks. Uh, dang. Hey, Dan. How's it going, hun? I'm losing crew members left and right. War. War never changes. Just woke up. Uh -huh. You take out the ship and contact the research station. Thank you for rescuing us. They held us hostage to ambush unsuspecting passerby. Please take this. An anti-combat drone. Uh, it's been an interesting evening. I had somebody try to run into chat with some, uh, interesting questions you can check those out later uh it's it's been a very busy day a lot of stuff getting unpacked a lot of stuff getting cleaned and we had soup for dinner let's see while we're at it let's take a look at our current timestamp. okay not too bad depending on how the the next few uh jumps go i might end up actually pausing to take a break but let's see for now I need to get my crew healed. Alright, so now we've got reinforced doors for the ship. Hopefully those come in handy. Hi, Koi! <laughs> I love seeing everybody saying hi to each other. It's really sweet. Oh, I just realized I should not have taken that jump. Oops. A small shuttle appears on the local radar. Turns out it's Rebel Automated Scout. Great. 
Uh, we got seven missiles, so we can we can afford to throw one of them out here. Okay. Okay, knocked that out. All three missed. That's rough. We'll target that instead. You've got to be kidding me. The ship explodes. Okay, good. Oh, I just realized we are running out of oxygen. Delightful. Uh, upgrade. Except both O2s are down. <sighs> Whose cuisine will reign supreme? We got stores everywhere. They're not much use to me, though. I guess I could sell some components. Let's see. Mantis crew here has hunkered down on the abdomen of a long-dead space whale. The only way, presumably, for them to operate their black market trade without detection. Where's the look? Mm. Hate to do that, however. I see three Zoltan. We'll grab the brightest one. And fix as much as we can of the ship. Cool. Welcome to the crew, buddy. Uh, you now help power things. Uh, oh, wow. You arrived to find a lumbering Zoltan freighter was known at the helm. It's a mystery what happened to the crew, but you'd be ashamed to let the opportunity go to waste. Just steal the ship and do what with it? I guess take it apart? Your ship is hailed. This is an automated message. Resisting our takeover is pointless. Prepare to die. It appears this rebel ship is run by an AI. Chat GPT is currently attacking me. <laughs> oh no. Let's see. Knock out their shields. Knock out their lasers. Actually, we don't need to hit that again. The rest of it should be fine. Cool. The ship explodes. We've got some good stuff there. Let us escape. The sh <laughs> Rebel ship has been patrolling the region. As soon as you arrive, they start shooting. Because that's just the way they are. Intruders on deck. Intruders on deck. Go attack this person. All right. Second volley. Augment. Explosive replicator. I wonder what that does. Yeah, sure. I'll take an augment. What did you give me? Missile-based weapons had a 50% chance of not using a missile. Alright. I like the way that sounds. Let's see. 
O2 is good. Oxygen is good. Sensors kind of suck. Autopilot evasion increase would be better. Uh. Hmm. No, we'll hold off. You've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. When the FTL overdrive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small revealing outpost. Alright, let's do this. Responding to the higher threat. Yeah, you better. Although that is a much higher threat. Holy cow. Okay. The hardest part of the game... Yeah. It, for me, um, some of the combat can be extremely unfair, but... Overall, uh, I think that some of the hardest choices are the ones where you already know like the different outcomes and a general idea of the way that they're weighted against each other. Because those are the ones where it's like, oh, I hope this is going to happen, and you weigh your decision accordingly, and that's not always the way it's going to play out. Looks like I got really lucky. Also, that missile launcher duplication is very nice. <laughs> when ship breaks apart, you quickly salvage what you can. The outpost hails you. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non-stop by those scouts. Take this on the house. Extra missiles. <laughs> Good old RNG Jesus. <laughs> Let's see. We are hurting. Okay, so it is 100 for the next level of shields. Let's do it. Unpause. Push that. Cool. We got tier 3 shields now. Hey, Busta. How's your day going? Engie controlled the sector. You've arrived in Engie space. Got distress beacons all over the place. And so much fuel. Your cockpit lights up with warning signals. You're being targeted by a nearby ship. The distress call was a lure to attract in unwitting ships into weapons range. You prepare for a fight. A triple barreled heavy cannon and a missile launcher. You guys suck. Let's see. Glad we put on level 3 shielding. Jeez. They still managed to knock out our doors. Oh, it's because of the missile launcher. Flak first. Flak is doing way more damage right now. Weather's so bad you need your wipers on the full way home. Oh, is it just raining like crazy? People- No! You gotta be kidding me! You get a frantic message. Take everything we have, just don't kill us! Nah. You know, alright, so when I was like... First... Fresh out of like my parents' house, um... I would go out into the wilderness, and under, like, full moon lighting, I would see how well I could see without headlights on, but, like, that was out in the middle of nowhere. Like, not even on a road. Uh, I wouldn't be, like, out on the highway without lights on. That sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, that sounds awful. I'm glad that you made it home safe. You're greeted by a rare sight. A mantis ship that appears to not have noticed you. Hmm.
Wow, these folks have everything installed on their ship. Hmm. Hell yeah. Got a bunch of goodies. In fact, <laughs> sounds like a fun time. Yeah, if you're practicing for something. Like becoming a stunt driver. <laughs> a message arrives. Your scrap ours. Our weapons for you. You're just about to raise the shields when you realize it's an Engi trader looking for a trade. Crew teleporter. Clone bay. Hacking. Weapons. Ooh. Required power one. Just tack on some additional weapon shots, huh? Burst laser mark three. Flak two. Doing up to seven damage. Seven shots per charge. Required power three. Charge time 21 seconds. Versus 10 seconds. Why would I do that? Flak weapons target an area instead of a single room. Loss in accuracy means more power power. Speed and laser counterparts. Mm. Oh, Mark Three burst laser would be lovely. Let's grab that, and again, heal as much as we can. Okay. Next. You cross paths with an Engi cargo vessel hurrying home before the Mantis fleet attempt to take over the sector. They're happy to offload some of their cargo to get home faster. I wish I could sell some of this fuel. Jeez. Uh, I need 75 for the next level here. Get ready. All right. Have a good one, hun. I'll try and drop in later. There are a number of merchant ships passing through the area, but despite the threat of Mantis invasion, no doubt interested in buying the efficient technology of the Yungi. Oh, what a terrible jump vector. Your sensor picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt, alright, let's hail them. As you hail the refugee ship, a Zoltan ship suddenly jumps into the system. It claims the refugees are criminals and accuses you of escorting fugitives. Before you can respond, it cuts communications and powers up weapons. An asshole. My apologies. <laughs> Just still, what a jerk. <laughs> okay, so we'll switch from the Artemis to heavy weapons here. Because that heavy laser deals additional damage to the Zoltan shields. And these initial shots are going to be not the most comfortable. Okay. Zoltan's ship breaks apart, and you salvage what you can. Contact the refugees. They thank you for their assistance, as a gesture of goodwill, and seeing how effectively you dispatch the enemy ship, they offer what supplies they can spare. Good. Good. 
Would you look at that? An additional gun. All energy to weapons. <laughs> A battle cruiser? I don't know what you're talking about. Black market hub. If only I could sell fuel instead of missiles to you folks. Even though each individual Engi is made up of trillions of nanomachines, their culture still revolves around traditional social interactions. A nearby station seems to be constructed for entertainment of passing Engi travelers. An unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins this distress message until the pirate cuts in and offers to split the bounty if you sit tight. Try to be a hero. Attack the pirate. We are way better outfitted than they are. Although they do have a lot of drones. Dang. Okay. Charge all weapons and then fire in a salvo. Okay, okay, okay. Flak first. We get hit by a whole missile. Fun. Alright, that initial salvo went through decently, but... Disable each shot. Oh, right. Um, Matthew, how good are you at this? Whole breach missiles suck. Okay, we'll take another shot. Salvo at everything. You've proven sufficient match for the pirates. They're powering up their FTL and trying to get away. The pirate explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. You try to go in to assist. You were too late. The whole breach deprived a crew of oxygen during your fight with the pirate. You salvage what you can. Aww. Why y'all so cute? Bunch of cuties in the crew. Let's see. So we're a little short on power for things like the life support. Oh, repair damage. Yes, please. Fully heal. Good. That was so much cheaper than it would have been otherwise. Abandoned sector. All right. The sector was the site of many major battles between the Federation and Rebel fleets. Strangely, there's very little evidence of those battles remaining. Oh, I know what this is story-wise. Okay, so we just got to full health. We got three shields, four weapons, and four crew. I'm going to take a short break because I get the feeling we're about to actually make it all the way through this sector, possibly to the next one. So I will be right back with you folks. And we're going to leave the spooky music in place. <laughs> okay. Yeah. One moment. I'm going to take a, a stretch break. I recommend you folks go refill your water. And uh, go pee if you have to. Because I sure do.
to say there's something about this music that just always gets stuck in my head i always end up whistling it to myself and when it's reduced to just a whistle it's more of a sea shanty than it is like the sci-fi sound that it really has with the the fun little xylophones they've added in so it's that's interesting to me all right grab myself some chocolates on the way back let's continue the story Hmm. Oh, let's not put the chocolates right next to the heat exhaust of the computer. Okay. So, this sector being abandoned, uh, you'll note that there's been ships everywhere, of some sort, everywhere. But here, nothing showing up on sensors yet. You stumble across a badly damaged Lanius craft. It jumps away as soon as it sees you. Looking around the area, you discover a number of destroyed rebel automated ships. It must have been quite the fight. You scrap what remains. Now I'll note there's going to be a lot of scrap out here because there's a lot of partially eaten ships. So many laser damages. Big kabooms. Hmm. Very close to being able to add a lot more power to the shields. Kind of tempted to do that. Hmm. Let's max out the sensors. Because those can give us some better options in our exploration here. You come across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. You quickly receive... Okay, so it's this one again. Let's be a hero. The pirate ship stops his pursuit and locks weapons onto your ship. Oh, we can see the charge rate on their stuff now because we have the enhanced sensors. That's neat. Okay. Well. Let's mess up everything for them. Okay, so they said a bomb, and it missed. Good. <laughs> Fine. Our previous offer was not generous enough. Let us improve it. Can I accept a more generous bribe? No. I don't even want the fuel. I just want the scrap. Woo. 
pirate explodes. You examine the ship you just saved. Thanks for the aid. I'm an arms dealer that usually only works with rebels, but considering the circumstances, I'll make an exception. <laughs> just scare the hell out of this arms dealer. Let's see. Warm missiles. <laughs> Crew take half damage from low oxygen. Oh, that's such a neat little upgrade. Shield charge boost improves the shield recharge rate by 15%. That's also... Oh. Weapon pre-igniter. There's so many good things. People with various maxed out crew stuff. Hmm. A tier 1 Artemis missile could be swapped for another Mark 1 heavy laser. The piercing damage on it's really good though, so I shouldn't actually try to replace it. Could upgrade to a swarm missile. I would need an additional 170 uh well 130 to the the weapon systems to upgrade that. That would kind of suck. Hmm. Hmm. A fourth or a fifth crew member would be nice just for the extra meat shield. We'll do the shield charge boost. Because of I remember correctly, this is actually going to make it so that the Shields on this ship are on par with the uh, Rebel Destroyer. Ooh, cell value 25. No, it wouldn't give me anything extra. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it was an idea, okay? You come across a Lanius ship in the process of absorbing a rebel automated scout. If you scare off the Lanius, you could probably make use of it. <sighs> yeah, I feel bad attacking the Lanius, but like... You power up your weapons, which quickly gets the attention of the ship. So check out these crew members. They're really neat. Uh, little spiky crystal dudes, or metal dudes. They're basically like Engi, but if Engi were more focused about... Um, just expansion and less about uh, exploration. Expansion and extermination, I guess. It's interesting because, like, you look at the four uh, elements of a 4X game, and those are very powerful functional drives for, like, why an AI or artificial sentience would attempt to do something in a galactic scale. Okay, let's address their shields first, and light up everything else. Ooh, that's a lot of weapons and a whole breach laser. Okay. The landing ship appears to prepare its FTL drive for a jump. They appear to no longer wish to fight. Well, sorry. The Lanius craft breaks apart. You move in to inspect the automated rebel ship that was absorbing. You find the ship as a method of, build of warning the rebel fleet of contact with your ship. You feed it some false data about your ship's whereabouts and should keep the fleet off your tail for a time. Fleet delayed by one jump. Nice. Uh, let's send somebody in here. Open these doors. This is why the additional crew is helpful. 
I have to remind myself of that. Power up those generators. You come across a single Lenius ship salvaging a small civilian craft. You cannot tell if they attacked the craft or just happened upon it. Lanius Bomber. You move and empower up your weapons. Detecting the threat, they stop what they were doing to prepare for a fight. Intruders detected. Okay, so they've mind controlled somebody. And they have a teleporter. That's frustrating. Also, they have a flat cannon. That's also frustrating. Alright, we're gonna... Energize things one by one. Oh no. Oh! Uh... Yeah. You receive a message from the enemy ship that your translator struggles to interpret. Penitence for metal. Offering intention. Um... I feel bad, like, continuing to attack them, but, like, I do need the materials. The ship explodes. How terrible. Okay. And then we jump. Okay, I'm glad that jump was far enough, or close enough. The pirate ship patrolling the sector has been busy. The debris of several rebel scouts and at least one civilian ship litter the area. Welcome, welcome! There's room for one more! The overconfident pirate hails you as he charges weapons and moves into attack. Wow, they're like me. Alright. Seem to have disabled their judge for the moment. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Well, it isn't working, is it? Enemy FTL delayed. Their room is quite literally on fire. Please don't kill us, we'll give you everything we have. Nah. The ship explodes! So many snacks! So few pirates! Hmm. Tempting. Also tempting. You arrive to find a large Lanius vessel laden with recently collected metal. They're apparently offering to trade for supplies, and are lacking. I wish I had the missiles. This entire run has been like, would you like to sell missiles? Would you like to sell missiles? Hey, would you like to sell some missiles? An image of some weak and hungry humans comes onto your screen. Those metal bastards think they can absorb half of our engines and leave us here to die? I hope you understand the need to take your ship by force. 
intruders on board. Oh, that is a lot of intruders. Well, this is the fight going weird. Let's see. Get these two back in here. This person over here. This person over here. What a silly way to, to solve this problem. Slowest fight ever. Never actually had to fight anybody. That's the fun part about that. Just continue starving them of oxygen and didn't really need to attack anyone. <laughs> Nobody got hurt except the opposing force. Mission successful. Your stealthy silliness. I mean, that was something straight out of a Star Trek episode. <laughs> Mission successful, as dumb as that was, as absurd as that was. <clears throat> you detect a damaged vessel docked to the jump beacon. It appears the Lanius are absorbing metal from the beacon, risking destroying it and becoming stranded. Ask if they acquire assistance? You begin a message to the ship, but it quickly powers on its weapons defensively. It appears to be fully functional, looking for a fight. Jeez. Okay. And they locked my doors. Thanks, I guess? Um... Yeah, target their shields. Overwhelm their shields. Your comm system receives video feed of the enemy ship's crew waving small makeshift white flags. It appears they have taken research about your culture's customs system- Customs quite literally. Aw, that's really cute. I'm actually going to accept their- their offer there. You did it. You- you've successfully figured out human culture. You know how to apologize. White flag. Good job. We got a store. I'm glad I've been holding on to the scrap. This beacon is bustling with activity. It looks like some merchants decided to capitalize on the fact that dozens of refugee ships are using this location to recharge their FTL drives. You browse their wares. Yo. 
Hmm. Come with a system repair drone. Fifty percent chance to ignore incoming ion damage. That's fun. Very nice. Even when sensors don't function, but... Oh, does that show the crew from here? Hmm. Let's do the life form scanner as a technology. I think it is a separate um, storyline tag versus the slug telepathy. But I think... Oh, I need a mantis on the crew. Dang it. Okay. You... We could use a repair specialist hanging out. Man the doors, I guess. Now the doors have the little extra bars. That's neat. Oh, and you happen to have a specialization in shields? All right, I'll swap you for this person. And you're just good at fighting. Okay, cool. Very nice. We have extra time to burn. Got to that exit really fast. There appears to be some sort of research station near Pulsar, although it's hard to tell since a portion of it has been melted. The landing ship that's been working at it moves to intercept you, totally oblivious to the threat of EM pulses. Uh, that's a lot of guns, but same. Okay. Um. Actually. Of course. Of course, why wouldn't they? Yeah, they can hang out there and just chew on that door for a while. some more. The landing ship hails you. The translator struggles, spurting out, prevent death. Merciful. Penitent. You believe they're surrendering. We will not accept surrender. You are attacking me. Oh. Marcus, you've taken some damage. Go heal. Also, we can turn off the, uh, Missile launcher, because we're obviously dealing enough damage here. Okay. Ship explodes. Big scaplody. And let's close this door again. Okay. Looks like we don't have enough time to jump back and forth, so we will just get out of here. You arrived at the Long Range Beacon. You're immediately hailed by a mobile docking platform upon arrival. Hello, welcome to Uncle Joe's Fix-It Shop. Need a tune-up? We got you covered. They offer to upgrade your reactor in exchange for some scrap. Yes. You let the team on board, and after a short time, they finish their work. Upgraded the reactor by one. Normally, that would have cost me 30. Instead, it only cost me 20. Very nice. Next sector. Rock control. The rock people are a powerful and proud race. It is not unheard of to have peaceful journeys to their lands, but don't count on it. Get our shields back up and running. There's a store already. Mm. 
You encounter a small craft with minimal propulsion. His rock crew member explains that the rock homeworld is run on lies and propaganda to keep the populace in check, and they want no part of it. You can tell them their god sent them here to join your crew, promise to share with them the truths they've been denied, or show them your data suite with the improved sensors. Nice. The rock captain is impressed by the data you've collected and agrees to stay with you till they find their footing in the galaxy. Aw, Captain Roper. Welcome to the crew, bud. You happen to be a excellent pilot. Ah. Huh. Good for you. Yeah. You find a disabled rock transport floating near the beacon. You consider stripping it of useful parts, but are not uncertain why it's there in the first place. Slug crew, check for life forms and keep a lookout for ships while looking while looting the wreck. You begin the salvage operation, but before long your crew warns you of an approaching ship. You hasten to leave before they get within firing range. We just got to harvest that for the heck of it. Nice! <laughs> okay. Might even consider doing some more upgrades soon. Let's hit this distress beacon. Ha! I knew someone would fall into our dastardly trap! It appears this distress beacon was nothing but a decoy for a pirate ambush. And they don't even have teleporters. What kind of pirates are you? All weapons. Wow, this is a very full crew. We shot down one of their lasers somehow. Okay, we are on fire. Which one are you best? You're good at repairs? Oh, I see. Okay. Well, best get on shields. You've clearly bested us. We merely request our lives. Nope, you attacked us. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Very useful. Okay. To the store. You receive a hail on Federation frequencies. Your Federation! We, we weren't sure we'd ever see a friendly face again. There's little business here. Perhaps you'd like to trade? Oh, they got more Zoltan. They got... Wow! A defense drone that creates shield. That's cool. You do drone control. To do bigger laser, I would have to severely upgrade the weapon suite to do that appropriately. Hard power, shots per charge, two, damage per shot, two. Hmm. I need 190 more power to do that. Cause that's a that's a three? Yeah, that's a three. Too much. Oh no, it'd still be too much because I, I could supply all the power I want, but I still need the weapon system suite to have the power as well. Dang. Alternatively. I'll 
I'll have to power that later. But we can drop one and put power to drones. We have 22 drones. That's a defense drone? Defense drone. Okay, cool. All right, Busta, see you in a little while. You see a small trading post and ask about refueling, but they respond, Go away! We don't serve your kind here. All right, fine. A rock ship flies past your windows, and you recognize outcast decorations in the hole. These must be pirates. And they cloak. Okay. Defense drone up. Okay, let's do Artemis. There we go. Ah. And second volley, Flak will go to shields or weapons? Weapons. Burst laser and heavy laser. That one rock crew member is trying so hard to break in. And then they immediately teleport back. That's funny. Okay. Step out of there for a sec. What is this song? Head back in here. Well, that went well. Close all the doors. Got another store. Two, yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> you arrive in the sector and are greeted by a science vessel awaiting the beacon. They hail you. We find ourselves low on fuel and have a proposition. <laughs> no, no thank you. I'm not trading two fuel for a single drone part. You're intercepted by a rock salvage operation. They don't seem to mind that you're on board while they junk your ship. Oops. Save the Artemis shot. We'll need that for later. Their system suffering. The rock ship attempts to make contact. Alien vessels, cease your attack. We will pay. We need the missiles. Those missiles are valuable right now. You come across a rock trading post. It's rare they deal with outsiders, but they need to sell the last of their stock and will pay their dues for, th for their transgression when they return home. Alright. Fire Ion Stunner. Acquire power 1, charge time 10 seconds, shot per charge 1, ion damage 1, stun of 5 seconds. That's different. Not nearby beacons. Hmm. Yes, squishy thoughts mode. It's me, squishy thoughts. The long range scanners are nice. I could do them instead of the life form scanners and theoretically 
Let's do that. It cost me 10 to get them, so like... Oh well. What's the fire beam requirement? Two. Jump and we dive, then we really oughta. Oh, now that I have the long range scanners, I can see stars and stuff. You'd think I could already see this. As a naturally warlike species with few intergalactic diplomatic ties, the rock people have garnered quite a reputation as fearsome pirates. You stumble across one of their ships, and they promptly lived up to type. Mm. Defensive drone activate. Shields, overwhelm everything. Wow, very much missed all that. Explodes. All right, we've got some. Accept. Go over here. Swap that for that. Now we got the really mean weapon. You arrive at a long range beacon. You come across a large trade station. However, as soon as you approach, a warning goes out to all ships in the region. Do not associate with the Federation Sympathizer. All who oppose the rebels will be punished. We're just going to search anyways. You apparently spoke to the wrong person in your search for a store. Warnings go off and you detect an automated rebel ship moving into attack. Well... Uh, the fire beam isn't going to do much, is it? I guess not. Alright, well. We'll hold off. So we've lit those rooms on fire, as you can see. Turn off to Artemis. Switch to firing at these. Always a mess. Always a mess. Ship explodes. Okay. Next sector. Zoltan Control or Zoltan Home Worlds? To the Home Worlds! From what you've heard, they've anticipated the coming war and made preparations to hold their borders. Well, good for them. A small shuttle appears in the local radar. It's another one of these bloody automated scouts. Charge all weapons. 
I love power. Oh, right. We have stuff on fire. What a lovely time. We are taking some damage this time. Jeez! The dual drones are just mean. Okay. Alright, we are going to have to heal, because that hurt. Nebula is currently experiencing Ion Storm. Okay, more power. We're about to lose half of all the power to the entire ship. You'll see the blue marks here means that we will not be receiving power to most of our ship. You arrive in the middle of a plasma storm. Despite the harsh conditions, a rebel scout seems to be waiting for you. Alright, burst laser and flag. I got two of those. Hope the defense drone can do anything about the flag. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. I mean, it can try, but... They offer to give you some of their goods if you don't destroy their ship. Nope, you're rebels. A lot of possible ships in these nebula. It's worrying that the rebels have penetrated so deep into uncharted space. Even if it's only an unmanned craft, it arms its weapons. You should do the same. And In wait, intruder? Oh, mind control. It's crazy that an AI drone has mind control. Okay. This thing has no shields. What a bad idea.
All right. Not bad. Never often get the chance to go fully powered on weapons, so let's do that. Turns out this nebula... This nebula turns out to be the hiding place of a terrified rock crew taking refuge from the Zoltan border police. You don't seem to prepare to risk your leaving with their coordinates and open fire. That's a lot of weapons. The Rock Boys! Yeah, I know, I'd feel bad fighting them, but... They did decide to shoot me. Flak. Knock out their shields. And now I get to make a mess of their ship. So many lasers. We are out of missiles. over to here, burst laser over to here, and fire beam will continue. Their system suffering, the rock ship attempts to make contact. Alien vessel, cease your attack. We will pay. Sure. Glad uh, you somehow disabled my terrifying flat cannon. Someone might need help. I don't think they do. You apologized so hard that my flak no longer wanted to hurt you. The AI of a nearby rebel scout immediately identifies you as a threat and engages. Cool. Thanks. I hate it. Uh, burst laser. Yeah, we're just gonna do this again. Oh, we're gonna have to sink these. Okay. Oh no. Okay. <sighs> we're stuck in a silly little cache 22. Their weapons can't hurt us, our weapons can't hurt them. Fire the flag. Got some of their... Ugh. I hate having to do this. Okay. Now their stuff's on fire. Uh-oh. Ship refueling station. Well, I don't need fuel. Um. 
Inside this nebula, you detect a rogue planet drifting through space. On its surface, a huge model is visible at this distance, even to the naked eye. A Zoltan elder hails you from the planet. Through luck or intent, you've discovered the great eye. Look into its depths and receive your just desserts. Pull the ship closer. As you approach, an ancient alien voice speaks to you. Your mission has brought you great battles and great losses. This will help ease the pain. A few minutes later, someone reports medical equipment has appeared on the ship. Free Healy Bomb. Self teleporting healing unit that instantly heals all friendly crew in the room. Hand target your own ship. Yeah. I don't really have a purpose for that. Like, it's going to be a lot more important that I just don't get hit at all because we are. Not doing good. Um. You arrive at a Zoltan security checkpoint to set up a perimeter around the beacon. Traveling vessel, you will submit to crew profiling to identify fugitives of the Empire. Slug crew, have your slug talk them into letting you go. You give the guards permission to dock with the ship. Before they come on board, your crew member slowly advances to meet them. As far as you can tell, no words were exchanged, but the guards offer you some supplies and say the ship checks out. Best not to ask questions. Oh, okay. Thank you, slug crew member. Uh, repairs! Yes! Give us full repairs, please. To the store! The Zoltan are fascinated by other species, so set up something of an alien knick-knack shop here. Why not take a look? Hero gets fully healed by teleportation. That's fun. Automatically put out fires throughout the ship. That's just delightful. Life beam. Yeah, I love that one. Oh, oh, uh. Sell the Artemis, sell the Healing Burst, close this, go to here, go to the crew, we have an extra space, I don't need to. Okay, go to the store, go here. Achievement, achievement, please give me the achievement. United Federation! <laughs> All right. I was so willing to go after that glaive beam, but to get that achievement, it was worth it. Like, this fire beam is not going to remotely compare, and I can only hope that I find something that's, like, somewhat good to replace that fire beam. Because it's, it's not... Uh, we still have to upgrade our shields. We need to spend 180 on that. I don't know. Because this is pretty much, this is really close to the end. You arrive to find a ship floating among some debris. Hello, our impulse drives are shot and we can't jump. Could you give us some fuel? You give them the fuel. Thank you so much. We don't have much to offer, but we ha have a look at the sector scans we took. Your map is updated. Uh, I mean, that didn't update me with anything. You catch a uh, you catch a glimpse of a strange signal coming from a space station before your sensors shut off unexpectedly. As you discover that your sensors are being jammed, you hear hostiles beam aboard the ship. Until you're able to jump away from the hostile space station, your sensors will be disabled. You should deal with these boarders first, though. That's a lot of people. Roper. Captain Roper, get back in here. Okay, so... 
We could vent half the, this again. Which would be funny. Matthew, get back in there. Just need to make certain everybody does heal that can. Bjorn, get in there. Matthew, get in there. Booga, get in there. Okay. Ready to swap everybody. These fights. At least everybody's getting their uh, combat training in. Okay. Back to the front. Roper, up there. Fleishy, hang out here. You folks. Masi, back here. Booga, back into weapons. You two, over here. Heal. You on. Well, you're actually on drone control. You're on sensors, and you're on shields. We're a bit crew heavy on the front. Let's put somebody midship because the rock crew take forever to get anywhere. And close all the doors. Just barely. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, okay, accept offer. Sell fuel for more drone parts, no thank you. Next sector, the last stand. Alright, folks, I don't think we are going to win this, but we can give it a try. You arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past the initial security, and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? We explain our mission. The explanation has met murmurs of cynicism and disbelief amongst the officers. General Terzel, the NG Brigade, speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. Explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. Tully responds. It's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We'll do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying the flagship. Your current outpost can provide some repairs and fuel, and other repair stations can provide aid as well. Good luck. Alright, this is it. This is the Federation base, and we got a few repair stations. It's hard to tell who's winning the nearby battle. Before you have a chance to figure it out, a fighter moves into attack. The music gets so good in this sector. I hope we get some good weapons out of all this. Okay, set you out here. All right, all weapons are up. First and flak to the head of the ship, and heavy laser. None of those hit. Nice. Love that. That's great for me. Five shots. Those heavy burst lasers are really nice. Okay, we'll try this one more time. Flak and burst to the front. Black has knocked out most of their stuff, fire beam, and didn't get most of that. But at least the front of their ship is now on fire. Next up, shields. Heavy laser on reserve. We got stuff damaged, including O2. Get everybody up here into 
healing. Oh, weapons are down. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Firebeam won't be ready yet. Drone control is down. Who's injured? Booga, get back into med bay. Oh, this is getting intense. Hitting the end of the game is always like so spooky. Okay, knockout weapons. Single shot, please. Yes. No, that's not enough. <sighs> Booga, back on weapons, please. Activate everything. Uh, ma- uh, Yeah. Uh. Machine, back in there. Best, back in there. Roper, back in there. Marcus, oh, we need repairs. Okay, their shields are fully down now. Heavy laser to weapon, fire beam on the other side. Black cannon to the cockpit, burst laser to weapons. Should be the last salvo. That bomb might kill me though. Oh, that flak. I'm amazed that every crew member survived all this. You're the shield specialist, Marcus. You're right there. Here, 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 here. Oh no. Bjorn, heal as well. I cannot forget. We're not even getting scrapped for this. Like, these fights are just getting your face slammed into the wall repeatedly. Rebels have controlled the state. Location very dangerous. The ships, the fleet's anti ship batteries will be firing on you at this position. Great. Let's just go to the store. You find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels. They hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. Do they, though? Uh. Yeah, um, hmm. 
Although this sector is still under Federation control, a small scout has slipped by the fleet. You move in to engage. Delightful. At least you got everybody back on stations. Okay, we are coming up online. Flak to shields. Burst laser and heavy laser. None of those hit. Neat. Another salvo. Okay. One more salvo to knock down the shields the rest of the way. All sorts of stuff to deal with. Then we'll do it again from this side. Okay, did some extra damage to their shields, which is good. Fire beam hold off for a shot. Shields went back up. Heavy laser. Uh, hold off. Hold off. Hold off. Everything charged. Flat first. Then burst. Then heavy. Then fire. Everything's on fire, just like my teeth in Spain. <laughs> Everything's on fire, and we're all screaming in pain. Let's get some repairs. Do they, like, how much repairs do they offer? Fifteen, and some ammo. All right, that's pretty nice. You don't have time to worry about the battle in the distance? The fight's coming to you. Yeah, okay. Have your laser. have to, like, put down such a frustrating order of fire on this every time. shot. <laughs> Set everything on fire. Give him all the problems. First laser to their drones, black to their engines. Just the meanest weapon.
One more. You arrived near the Federation base to find the bulk of their fleet skirmishing with rebel forces. You hang back near the far side of the moon to avoid the conflict. There's not much you can do to help in that battle, and your mission holds the key to turn the tide of the war. You prepare to face the battleship. Oh, my only option is to go after the battleship now. It's not even letting me, like, try to gain anything yet. Okay, well, here we go. This is it. The Rebel flagship. If you're able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have no chance of su will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. So this ship, uh, rude hacking drone. The the door is locked. Oh no. Are they like... Okay. That was scary. I've never actually like had it hack like that before. Okay, so they have a lot of shields. Every one of their weapons fires three times. And uh, we are probably not making it out of this. Holy cow. They've just ionized every one of my layers of shields except the bottom one. Uh, thankfully it's a large vehicle and doesn't dodge very well, so. Again. Beth isn't going to make it. Hopefully neither will their crew. Uh, I can't hit both, but I can hit that, so we'll do that instead. <sighs> Matthew, you poor thing. Can you get inside here? Same thing. Oh, that hacking drone is going to kill every- Yep, there- Yeet! People dying! <laughs> Shield drives are down. Flashy just got locked into the electrocution chamber that used to be our med bay, and then immediately vaporized by a heavy laser. Uh. Engine's critical. Yeah, that's not a surprise. Folks, I think this is it. I think I think we've got it. I think we're totally able to defeat this ship. What do you say? Do you think we got this? I think we got this. I don't think we got this. <laughs> Our ship is on fire in so many different ways. It is being punched full of missiles. It was a valiant effort. I want to believe. Nah, that was it. They cut me in half. 
Woo! Okay. I mean, that was solid. We made it all the way to the final battle. Um, never quite made it to, to having, like, all of the, the weapon systems that we needed, but that wasn't bad. I think it's the first time I've actually hit that on stream. Whoop. That, that new straight out of the game. Whoops, wrong button. Well, let us go to a short break. I'm going to wander around the house for a second and let my leg stretch because that was an intense battle. Put on some break music here, and I will be right back. See you folks in a sec. So one of the things I think I need to do is generate a title card for doing smoke breaks. I don't know quite how I want to integrate that just yet because like, I don't see a way to uh, do it that doesn't irritate TOS, but I am a medical patient in a legal state and I do need my medicine. <laughs> Uh, now what I wonder to myself is, should I play something else? And if so, what should I play? Do a short run on another roguelike? Could idly farm something in one of the various games that I need to do so on? I don't know. I've also been looking forward to an opportunity to uh, potentially do some art streaming later, but I think that's going to have to wait until I don't have quite so many backburner projects burning at my consciousness. Things to consider. Of course, I also still want to catch more of that Rebel Galaxy chapter, now that like we made it past the initial first sector stuff. However, I actually need to catch up to that point in my uh, single player session so that I can vet the next part of the story, because I don't want to get caught by surprise uh, as to any major plot points that might be questionable due to the content that that game comes stock with. If you know, you know. If you don't know, don't worry about it. I'm trying to protect you all. also do a classic gaming night one of these nights. How does Twitch feel about emulation, especially games that I own the physical cartridge to? Well, as far as I know, that should be green area. our way back over to the command center. Doobie 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 doobie. Oh. Cal streams those all the time. 
Switch to this for a sec. Whoa, loud. Wasn't ready for that. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I got a little bit more energy left in me. Find something else that I got in the list. Take a quick look at the community votes. Robocraft 2. Uh, FTL, we just played the Sound Dodger. That could be a fun one to do. A couple more. Cave Story, who voted for that? Alright, alright. You know what? It's been a minute. I haven't played that one in a while. And uh, we can at least go through a couple save points in it. It's a, a nice change to the style of gameplay that I've been doing lately. Because I haven't done a whole lot of platforming. Let's see. Oh god. Okay, I'll have to look at this later. And case story. Where are you? There you are. Jump back over here. Pause this. OBS. Go to games. Go back to games. Why are you acting so small? Let's at least get you over here. Bop. Whoa! Hello! Oh wow, okay. One sec. We're having this again. Volume mixer. Alright. A little bit quieter. Cool. We have Chatterino. <laughs> so, who here has seen Cave Story? Fun little game. My view on this appears to be wonky. Okay. Cave Story is a fun little platformer. A uh, shooter. It's inspired a little bit by Mega Man. And, uh, I Sonic the Hedgehog is my best understanding, because, like, this was all originally done as a labor of love by a single person who made all the music, all the art assets, the entire game design, as well as a couple of other games that use the same assets later in completely different ways. Uh, versus, like, most other art, um, RPG and shoot 'em up makers, this person decided to take a completely different tack on other versions of the games that don't just work inside the same engine, but instead use a wholly different one. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's get into this. Someone's transmission. Oh, let's, let's move the chat over a little bit here. Connecting to network. Logged on. Starting IM chat. Who? Are you there? It's me! It's Rosima! I was somehow able to escape, but I got lost. I'm in a shelter without anything inside. If you're reading this, please answer. Please? Alright. And here... We get to play as Quote, or Cote, depending on... Huh? <laughs> Alright, so we got a save point. Yeah, we'll save. Air matters. Ah. And water affects the way we jump. Okay. First cave. Do, do, do. Oh, I'm gonna have a problem with chat. Okay. We'll set this here for now. I'll just have to continually check back. Little bats. Everything in this game is adorable, by the way. Max life increased by three. Very nice. So we'll continue our way down here. 
Didn't make that jump. Try again. This is kind of pointing out to the player that uh, platforming is important and necessary. So let's decide here. Hermit gunsmiths. Ooh. Mm. Open the treasure chest. Obtain the polar star. Someone's transmission. Searching for Sue. One Sue found. Sue! Answer me! They're looking for you! Are you asleep or what? Your brother's so lonely. Mm. Alright, so we got our polar star. Has a limited range, but can put a lot of damage out really fast. Time to collect Doritos. So in this game, taking damage will reduce your Doritos. <laughs> Delicious Doritos. <laughs> Unfortunately, the, the worse I do at this, the uh, harder the game gets. So I'm going to have to try and not, not get hit quite so much. Let's grab some healing. And try and grind at least a little bit. Because I, I want those Doritos. Those Doritos are good and important. Good and important and relevant and powerful. They are full of powerful magics that make my powerful gun more powerful. <laughs> well, <laughs> mess that up. Into the water. Into the room. Respawn all the enemies. Come back. So we're about to, if I don't get hit by this next one, I shouldn't say it out loud because I'm probably going to get hit then. Ah. Level up. Now our gun shoots further, does twice as much damage. Very similar to classic shoot 'em up games and bullet hells. So, one of my friends mentioned to me that they'd never seen me do a bullet hell before, let alone a bullet hell on stream. Fun fact, as much as this looks like a cutesy platformer, actually a bullet hell. <laughs> it just doesn't look like it until you get very far into the game. But it kind of just slowly builds up on training the player, uh, much in the way that Hollow Knight does. Oh, level down! You bastard! Level up! Back over here. Back over here. Because this is a good way to get these points back quickly. Monsu, type something, will you? Starving over here. I'm so hungry that I even need a cockroach. Just kidding. But just so you know, if I get to that point, I'll do it. Mimi got village. Give me the key! No way! Are you trying to protect that Sue girl? She's an outsider. Sue's a good person. I won't betray Sue. Toroko, the next time that doctor shows up, someone else will be taken away. If Sue isn't turned in, you could be in danger. But, but... Just hand over the key. Huh? What? You're not an enemy? I thought you were one of them. My name is King. I'm the number one in this village. Though I say number one, it doesn't really mean much. There are only six of us left in the village. Well, really. Including Sue at seven, but she's not one of us. She's just an outsider that came into our village. That's Oroko! She took advantage of the commotion and escaped! Alright, King. Let's see what's in this village. Yamashita Farm. The 
This is the farm where we grow flowers. My job is to protect this farm. To us, Mimiga, these flowers are a precious source of food. But not the red flowers. I heard if we eat the red flowers, our blood pressure skyrockets and we'll die in an instant. Fortunately, on this farm, we don't grow those vile red flowers. Okay. Do do do. Let's see. Is there anything I can learn? It's a sprinkler. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Always useful. Oh, my chat's in the way again. One sec. Uh, hello? There we go. There we go. Remove the chat again. What a fun, fun problem to have. <laughs> yeah, a definite disadvantage of platformers on a single screen. I will have to get that resolved soon. Okay, what do we got here? Up Yamashita Farm, left to the reservoir, right to the cemetery, down to Arthur's house. And a little save point. Gotta keep saving. Isn't the music in this just so nice and chill? Assembly Hall. Mm -hmm. Flames billow in the fireplace. There's something on the other side. Okay, can't do anything there yet. Mimiga Cemetery. Currently closed due to hazards. The name's Jack. I'm the number two in the village. Beyond here is Mimiga Cemetery. There, our hero Arthur rests eternally in peace. What am I doing here? Mushrooms are taking over Mimiga Cemetery, so I'm keeping watch to make certain they don't come into the village. Well, that's good for you. Oh, right, it's the assembly hall. Do, 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 Whoa! Fell really far. Shack! Hmm. There's none there yet. I love the floaty jumps. They're so good. Okay, can't get there yet. What do we got here? Arthur's house. It's locked. Okay. Huh? What's up over here? Mmm, gulp. Mmm, jeez, you scared me. Sue? Oh, you mean the girl staying at Arthur's house, right? She lives together with Soroko. That girl's a real cutie. She must be looking for flying dragons. Wonder if there really is such a thing. Dragons that fly in the sky. Hmm. I see some platforming challenge silliness going on over here. Let's see. Drop down over here. Go over to here. Go up here. Up. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> Open the treasure chest. Obtain the map system. Something's written. So long as you always maintain a sense of exploration, you will someday find the way out. This is my hope. Aww. That's like written into the chest. That's cute. Okay. Still locked. Nothing I can do there yet. So we'll continue our way up. Huh? Alright, so King's still upset. Let's go over here. To the reservoir. What? Heck yeah. 
Do? Yeah, Sue! That cute girl who's always hiding inside Arthur's house. She recently came to Mimiga Village. She fell into the reservoir there. I don't think she's very fond of us. It seems like she hates everyone in the village. But she's a Mimiga, same as the rest of us. Something shines brightly. Obtain the silver locket. It's a little fishy symbol. Oh, sorry fish. I didn't think that would actually hit that thing. Look, it's Taroko. What? <laughs> Hand over that key! Oh. Aw, punched him. Ah, ah, Taroko! Don't underestimate me! Okay. Still locked. You jerk! Ow! Oh, help me! Help! Huh? You're not the doctor? Sorry about that. The doctor's such a cruel and evil person. He shows up in the village and kidnaps Mimiga. At times, even killing someone. Doctor, he killed my older brother. Ah! That pendant! You picked it up for me? Sue gave it to me. But I don't want it anymore. King gets bent out of shape when Sue and I get along. Please keep it. Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah! I found you! It's no use hiding from me! I got the nose of a clever harrier! Indeed. Yes, he has the nose and the brain of a dog. Misery! I found her first! You too, doctor! You must be Sue. The great doctor has summoned you. Come along with me. Ha! Huh? But I'm not Sue! <laughs> Balrog, the rest is up to you. <laughs> not this again! I always have to clean up! And I'm the one who found her, not Misery! So what's up? You wanna fight with me with that? You wanna fight me with that little pea shooter? Uh, no? Huh? Alright then, I'm gonna go back home. Oh. Okay. <laughs> he just left! <laughs> He's gone! <sighs> huh. I've never just walked out of the fight with Balrog before. I didn't know that was an option. <laughs> okay. Life refill. And we will save the game there. I think that's a great, like, little teaser point for everybody to get a general idea of, of uh, some of the stuff that's going to be happening in this game. It's a really, really cute little story, and I want to look forward to actually playing this more with everyone else. I also note I am way past my usual stream time here, so we're going to call this a night. Yeah. And let's find somebody to to raid to. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad. I don't know if I necessarily want to go through and do, like, the, um, do the voices for the whole thing, because <laughs> there's a hell of a cast there, and I don't know if I've got that many different voices inside me just yet. <laughs> but, uh, it's, it's a fun one. Mm. Now let's see. Jump over here. And then... Oh, let me do this instead. Hmm. 
Hmm. Why did I fail to mute myself there? Okay, let's go ahead and raid Koi. He was watching earlier, and I know he's still going. So. Car here. Yeah. All right, folks. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again tomorrow. And uh, this was a lot of fun. We'll have to see what else we can come back and play soon. I think that makes three or four different stories we've got going on now as uh, ongoing things. So we're probably going to have to like put up some sort of planned schedule from this point on or, or coming up soon at least to uh, make that work right. But yeah, thank you. Thank you everybody for joining. Uh, let's just go ahead and do Green Glow Dog Raid. Woo! <laughs> thank you, Dan. Heck yeah. All right. All right, everybody. Let's go. Green Glow Dog Raid. Hello, Sandwife and Buster. And Dan, again. Friends. Friends. Huh? Ticks. That's excessive. It's good to see. Oh, to the same people already watching. <laughs> you get that guy's power on. <laughs>